Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we have the second part of how to draw the figure from the imagination. If you haven't watched part one of this tutorial, I recommend you to do so by clicking on the video and then come back. This time we start in a similar way as the last time, with an oval for the rib cage. In this case she will have the shoulders and hips slightly tilted, so I put those lines in. Then the ovals for the pelvis, the head, and the bones for the arms and legs. Having this basic and simple structure, it is much easier to then draw the outside. Remember that the shapes of the body are very organic, with that I mean curvy, rarely there is a straight line. At this point we can erase what we don't need anymore. And at the end, if we want to, we can draw some clouds. Since this is a drawing from the imagination, I'm going to make some wings for her. Okay, good. Let's go to the next one. We start with the mood line, showing the movement and character of the person. You probably noticed that the last time I didn't start it with a mood line, I went directly to the skeleton. There is no rule about it, but the mood line is usually helpful. Over the mood line we do the basic skeleton, and then the muscles of the body. This is going to be a male warrior type. When you begin by doing the outline of the figure, it usually looks stiff. While if you concentrate on the muscles and shapes in general, it becomes more life and with character. Therefore, I recommend modeling your sketch almost as if you were sculpting. It is helpful to mark the axis of the head to place the features. For the hands, I recommend doing an overall shape first, then mark where the knuckles go, where it can bend, and then the fingers. At the end of this video, I'm going to place the link for my tutorial on how to draw hands. I hope you did your assigned homework of last week to know where the muscles go. But drawing anatomy is not a one-time thing, of course. I recommend what I said last week of copying anatomy from life or from pictures or from drawings on and on, in a continuous basis. For the feet, we will also do a basic shape. Let's draw an axe. Today's sketches are not going to be perfect. In fact, they are going to be full of flaws. The purpose of this tutorial is simply to show you how to draw from the imagination. Ok, let's do the next sketch. We start with the mood line. This is going to be a girl viewed from the side. We do the ovals as usual for the ribcage and for the pelvis. And I'm going to speed the video up, otherwise we will be here all day. And I don't think you want to spend the whole day with me, really. For a head in profile, you can start it with two ovals. One pretty much vertical and the other one horizontal. Remember that the eyes are at the center, height-wise. 
Then we start shaping the body. As a note, I don't use this procedure when I am drawing from life or copying from a picture, because in that case you have a visual reference that you can use, and that requires a different technique. Some time ago I did an ebook called Drawing the Female Figure from Life Models. I will place the link for that ebook at the end of this video in case you are interested in learning that technique. We can do some features and don't forget the sternocleidomastoid muscle from the ear to the collarbone. The feet, as the other parts, don't need to have much detail, but they should be looking correct. Let's give her some butterflies to play with. And a little dress. Ok, next. Let's do the mood line for a strong man kneeling. When you draw your mood line, you probably will be the only person in the world to understand what are you doing. On the mood line we place the ovals for the ribcage, for the pelvis, for the head, and then we do the arms and legs. Then we start sketching the shapes and the muscles. Let's do the head with the two oval technique. If it is in profile, the place where the two lines of the ovals cross is where the ear goes. This should give you a correct proportion for the head. Let's give some nice muscles to this superhero type. Good. Let's draw a male figure from behind. We do the mood line. And then our structure, which is the same even if it is viewed from the back. As I said before, let's not outline the figure, but rather Draw the shapes as if you were modeling. I hope this is not too repetitive for you, but I thought maybe you wanted to see it done from different angles on different bodies. Once we have these forms, then we can unite them. Ok, now let's do a sitting girl from the back. We do the mood line with the ovals and basic structure. Oops, sorry, it's out of focus. Ok. Of 
course here we will not do the muscles like in the last one, but we can still do the shapes. I actually like this technique very much. This is not the same way as I did the first figure, if you notice. In that one I did outline a bit. There are no rules, but I think in this way the figure is more loose and comes more to life. For the hands, again, we do the general shape, then the line for the knuckles, and then the fingers. Okay, I like it. I'm really having fun now. Let's do one last one. This will be a sitting girl from the side. We start with the mood line and then the basic skeleton as always. It doesn't matter what type of body are you drawing or from which angle or in which pose. That's a stable datum that you can always use, your basic simple skeleton. Which of course you can modify, making it wider, shorter, etc. For the face, you can draw the midlines, horizontal and vertical, which will help you place the features correctly. With our skeleton, then you can have some fun building the shapes. Let's sit here on a stool. But wait, the feet should be on the stool as well. Okay. I want the arm to go around the knee, so it should be more like this, and the leg should be more toward her. When you draw from the imagination, it is common to have a lot of changes. Don't panic, please! Now I think she should have some butterfly wings. And if she's a fairy, she should be sitting on a mushroom. That's better. Okay, this is all for today. Please let me know in the comments if you think this was helpful or not. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. You know where to follow me and where the links are. And I'll see you on Tuesday.